It's a brand new season. Yeah. And there's so much to do. We want to always catch up, always hit home runs. But that's not how it happens, at least not for us. This is reality. We're going to show you what really happens, good or bad, rain or shine. This is our home. This is Erie, Erie Extreme. I'm James McCann, and you're watching Erie Extreme. It's showtime. Let's call Nate. Wait, what was I supposed to ask him? I was supposed to ask him if he has a challenge for us. Well, that's why you're calling. I knew that. Oh, hi, Dave. How are you? How's it going? Things are going great. We actually just found the perfect keyword for one of our clients on page SEO. It might sound confusing, I know, but there's a keyword. Of Can you see through these? I don't even know how you can see through this. If you go all the way to the first, I don't think you understand how great the traffic is for that, but it's really going to be great. Not that dirty. funny, too, because we thought that they were using keywords that would be perfect for that, but ever since you found this one, their business has just been booming. Wow. And you got a challenge for us? Oh, hold on a sec. So this challenge comes from Becky from Guys Know PA. And she actually challenges you to catch a catfish. Um, that's it. There's no catch, no time limit. Tomorrow is catfish day. Should you accept this challenge? Sounds pretty easy to me. So, uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have no idea how to catch a catfish. A seemingly simple challenge, but not my cup of tea. We need help. We were scheduled actually this weekend to film with James at Gudgeonville. So this is going to kind of Hopefully we can do this first and then uh, still keep our schedule with James. Catfish are like, they're everywhere. Yeah, but I'm just more worried about what we're gonna do with James in case it takes longer. Because think about it, catfish bite better at night, the ghost hunting thing works better at night. Call Jim. Call James Jim. or John? Jim. Your buddy, the catfish guy. That's John. Oh, Jim John Jim. Listen, um, just got a challenge about catching catfish. We've never caught catfish. He says Elk Creek. Isn't that where Gudgeonville Bridge is? Yeah, but like, it's the same body of water, but it's, you know, five miles away or seven miles away. You wanna go fishing? This should be easy. He's in. Hopefully we'll catch a catfish quick, and then we're gonna go do the ghost thing later. Yeah, you can channel the cats. Channel cats, get it? That a lame joke. All right, we'll meet you at Avonia Tavern at five o'clock. We're going ghost friendly, ghost like red, ready to go. Should we look at, at the chicken liver option at Giant Eagle or not worry about it? I mean, it'd be nice to have three different kinds of baits out there, It'd really stink up the water. Yeah, just throw it in the back of your truck or whatever and let it bake in the sun and then by the time we get out fishing, it should be pretty, pretty fine. I have the hot dogs right now in a bag with a bunch of garlic and vinegar. Yeah, I'm kind of disgusted by all this. Well, that's what they like, you know, the stinkier the better. Let's go get us some chicken livers. They look like a chicken nugget? Yeah, that's how small they are. Thank you. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm John DeMarco, the Executive Director of the Presque Isle Partnership. We exist to enhance your experience at Presque Isle State Park and make the park the best park it can be. Well, I watch the show all the time, especially on YouTube, and it's cool to meet you know, Dave and the crew out at the Avonia and really kind of plan out how our evening was going to go. My idea was to hunt. Sorry. You know, I haven't been fishing in 25 years, so it should be an interesting, fun time. We gotta be careful, or he'll stick one on us. You know what I mean? It's bad. Trust me. It's juju. It all hinges on you, whether you, you're the guy. Oh, I am the guy. Yeah, you are the guy. I didn't know what my role was. Role was I really? Because we have to catch a catfish, and your role is to make that happen. All I know is I got chicken livers on my hood. Can we catch one? We will catch one. John seems like a cool cat. I think we're going to catch a boy. Really? Yeah. He's really confident. So we're going to go fishing first. Turn the lines in the water. And then we go play with the paranormal. <laughs> Sounds good to me. One, two, three. <laughs> cat <Cat-man-do. laughs> I didn't even know what we were saying. <laughs> cat man <do. laughs> So these are channel cats. These things get big, I mean real big. And they come in from Lake Erie to the mouths of the creeks to spawn, to feed. And it's a narrow window. Hopefully we're catching it just right. I thought you channeled. I don't channel. That's why we're channel catfishing. 
I'm not a medium. Can you play one on TV? <laughs> How do we get there? We keep, we walk down this path here and then it's up kind of like a little billy goat trail. It'll be easy. James is into channeling things. Channel cats. <laughs> Are you spooked out? <laughs> Look where we're going. Does that scare you? Really, Dave? Did you bring a ghost call with you? You never know, Dave. You never know. They forget to mention that you got to walk halfway to Pittsburgh. Are we fishing? Is this the right way? Or hiking? Yeah, hey, uh, guys, let's go hiking and maybe we'll fish a little. <laughs> When's the last time you caught a fish, James? Long, long time ago. Probably a good 25 years. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. James, I used to go catfishing with my cousin Chad and it's been 35 years. 40 years ago. Are we going the right way? That's a pretty long walk. At one point, I didn't really know where I was. Where'd they go? I don't even know. How'd you guys get over there? Unbelievable. Is this not unbelievable? Finally, water. Let's go fishing. What do you normally do? Should we go out closer to the mouth or here? It changes every year. Man, look how clear it is. Does it get deeper out in the mouth or no? So we, we broke out of the woods onto the beach and it looked a lot different. You're one weird dude, man. I'm kind of intrigued. You ready to start rigging crap up? Yeah. Gosh, that's disgusting. That What's going to keep it on? Ew, I, ew. Hopes and dreams. First time I took you fishing, I wanted it to be on my terms. This ain't my terms. Me and you are pretty much on a level playing field right now. Because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I brought you a red reel. All right. Do you know why? Positive energy. Yes. Red reels. <laughs> you gotta spread that positive energy for good luck. Oh, you stunk these up or not? Should have got some cocktail sauce from the Avonia Tavern. That is gonna be really hard. Is that how they do it? Just stick one on there like that? This is weird. I'm gonna put James down here. We're just gonna spread out. I'm not feeling it. Oh, after 25 years, it feels really good to fish again. You think that's far enough? I haven't used a stick like this since I was about five. Probably have to agree with the same thing here. Look, he's got the rod upside down. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. You look like George Bush. Yeah, I'm just dragging on the bottom. I'm wondering how long we should give this. And when I was little, we used to make them like little dough balls, bread and cheese. Man, a catfish used to go nuts for it. They really should listen to me, cheese burps. Let's go home and watch Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> I think it's on at eight. Ever watch that? Yeah. Who's your favorite? Of course, Laura. I don't like Laura. Nelly. Nelly, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're fishing. How big are these catfish? How big? It'd be nicer if we had lawn chairs. I know one thing, if we're gonna do something different, we need to do it. We need to do something fun. Look at you, how could you have any more fun than that? You're fishing and sleeping at the same time. It doesn't get any better than that. The only thing better, you could be, somebody could be putting pizza in your mouth right now. Yeah. In my sport, like we try to imitate the natural forage in the water. I guarantee you there ain't a shrimp swimming alive in water within two million miles of here. Season two of Erie Extreme is presented by Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, We Create, The Avonia Tavern, FishingOnline.com, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and by Visit Erie. Look at what's happening. We got smuckled. What's the word? Give it to me, James. Smuckered. Bamboozled. You know what my goal in life is right now? <laughs> to catch a cat. <laughs> no, to see James catch one. I'm pulling for you, James. James, keep your head in the game. Man, your mechanics are incredible. Look at how smooth he is with that rod. Where'd you learn to do that? Anybody reply to the post yet? Yeah. Could someone please tell us where the catfish are biting? Down towards the mouth more. Are you serious? He says. I just got off the phone with my buddy. Man, are we getting mixed signals or what? And he told us to go right here. The mouth's over there where we were. We got people telling us to go that way and people telling us to go that way. We got a dilemma now. What do we do? We listen to some guy on Facebook we didn't never met. Are there actually fish there? We already were down there and didn't get a bite. I got a great idea. I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know if it's it all could turn around. I still got the faith. This is the seventh time we filmed and we haven't caught a fish yet. Is that real? Oh yeah, we caught fish that one time. It's just not happened yet. It's still too early. We have to be patient. <sighs> I don't know what to do. It sucks not knowing what to do. 
bail on it? You can't do that. Terry, you forgot to mention our guide hasn't fished for six years. Really? So I guess Terry didn't tell Dave that part. I didn't know I was the guide. We're out of here. Bree's taking us to her secret catfish hole. We will catch some cats tonight. Make sure you check yourself for ticks too. Oh, I hate this hill. The scenery's just amazing. The, the scenery's just amazing? I mean, I agree if we're not gonna catch anything, we should fish near a picnic table, but is that really what we stooped to? Last attempt at a catfish. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Look at this, I already got a stick here and everything. Catfish should be the stupidest, easiest, dumbest things to catch, you know? It's gonna happen. Actually, I do not think that, but I like the hot dog look though. Damn, it stinks. Well, night's a full moon. Is it really? Yeah, they should be going crazy. Holy cow. They should That's be going good nuts. For ghosts and catfish. Don't hook me. What are you doing? Really? Somehow, my chicken liver is staying on that hook. You know, these aren't Smith's hot dogs. I wonder if that's why. No doubt. You just lost your chicken liver. I lost a little bit of it. I still got some. Give me a hot dog. Have you actually caught a fish on a hot dog before? Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. I don't know why. Dave got a kick out of the baits we were using. Chicken liver, shrimp, and my favorite, hot dogs with vinegar and garlic. One thing I know about catfishing, the only thing I know about catfishing, if uh, your line's not in the water, you're definitely not going to catch one. <laughs> Do you want to try to do this again tomorrow night? Why so, would you do this again? So we can make a show out of it. Well, I don't even know what you're talking about. What is he talking about? We're just going to have a show with us sitting here. Well, you want to you want to have a show with us sitting here two nights in a row? I guess he's got a pretty valid point there. How about we just poke ourselves in the eyes with sticks? Oh gosh, you guys are out of control. Hey, they sound like they're getting closer. They are, they're following the hot dogs. Let's say we pack it up. Are those coyotes? Yep. Yeah. They are a lot closer now. Wow, that's cool. Spooky. This is the spookiest fishing trip I've ever been on. <laughs> All right, you want to say goodnight, Gracie? Yeah, I don't even think we should even deal with it. Should we? This was cool. I'm a little bummed out we didn't catch any fish. We can't make nothing out of that, can we? <laughs> I mean, we'd have to be freaking geniuses. You win some, you lose some. Tonight just wasn't our night for catfishing. <laughs> Is it me? You coming? Now I got catfish on the brain. We're at it again. Call me a glutton for punishment. We're out here. Day number two, the catfish got the best of us last night, James. Yeah, no cats. We got my brother with me. Oh, wow, that bug is nasty. <laughs> Why are there so many? Oh, that's unbelievable. Anyway, you think this is going to be fun? This is going to be a lot more fun than last night. Oh. All we got to do is just catch a catfish. You think we can do it? Did you bring the cheese? Oh, oh man. We need all the cheese. The moon's full. And it looks like it's going to be a very interesting night. James, that moon, will it bring the ghosts out? I believe that sometimes it does seem like there's more activity when there's a full moon. Every full moon usually has a name, um, like a harvest moon, you know. And tonight is actually the annual uh, strawberry moon, where it's supposed to have a purple tint. Strawberries aren't purple. They also call it a blood moon. You sure it ain't the grape moon? Yeah, strawberries are red. Strawberries are ghost friendly? Yeah, I've heard of a blood moon. Me too. I don't know if that's the same thing or not. Hey, am I covered in bugs? <laughs> no, there's no <laughs> bugs. Terry, you have hair. <laughs> Shine that over there at that tree, Terry. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta get this way up there by that log. Bugs make the world go round. You gotta embrace the bugs. They're embracing me. <laughs> Yeah, come on. I'm not kidding. I just swallowed six of them. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? How do you know it wasn't five? The one thing different about tonight from last night is that there are catfish right where we just cast. <laughs> Before it got dark when I put the boat in the water, uh -huh. 
there was like a half a dozen of them swimming right there where I threw yours. And I just threw it out in there and I caught a bass, threw it back out there again, set the rod down. As soon as I set it down, I got another bite and it was a huge catfish. It was like, and it's like takes off that way. And there's a bunch of logs you can't see right there. Uh -huh. Just peel in line, man. It took off under those logs. I'm powerful. We gotta go. He's got wrapped. We gotta go. He's got me wrapped. He's got me wrapped big time. Like he can go wherever he wants to. Can you believe it? Don't pull me too hard. I think he just got off. Broke me off. Jeez. It was pretty tragic. Man, they're strong. Hey, I'm used to doing shows where we don't catch anything. It's like the paranormal, you know? Sometimes you go out and sometimes things happen, sometimes they don't. I'd talk more, I just don't want to have my mouth open too much. There's not a single bug not anywhere a bug near you. Look at me. <laughs> There's not a bug near you, man. I mean, they're all on seriously. the light. There's a bug right there, see that? I'm gonna move us just a little bit. Okay, this is it. That was the cast where dreams come true. Perfect. Too bad you couldn't have came last night, Nate. Yeah, what I miss. But same as this, only we were on the bank instead of in the boat. Catfish are the stupidest fish known to man. They're everywhere, they're easy to catch, and they'll bite anything. So why is there so much trouble? You yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. This is so dumb. <laughs> I apologize to you guys, everybody watching, cameraman's wife. <laughs> We've been fishing for a while now, and at this point, everybody seems to be getting discouraged. I came out here at four o'clock today. Danny met me at 4.30. I could see all these big giant catfish swimming around. Couldn't catch them. I caught a white bass, a sheephead, a smallmouth. Then, then after Danny left, Terry and Nate showed up. We went out in the lake. Wind finally calmed down a little bit. We went out there and trolled around. We caught how many sheephead? Two? Two big sheephead. Got a couple other bites. We were only out there for an hour. And now we're doing this. This is awesome. Isn't this awesome? It's great. Yeah, it's fun. Is that lightning? Dude, we don't want to get stuck out here in a storm. We're 30 feet from the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just getting dumber and dumber. The suspense has been building up for two days. If we catch one, I might have like a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? 10.43. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, we got a storm in Conneaut. We're in Girard. We're like seven miles from Conneaut. Look, so that's seven miles away? Yes. Let's see if it's moving this way. Seven miles will creep up on us real it quick. Is moving yeah. This way. Fish bite the best right before a storm. Wait, let's just wait one it's second. It's too late. Seriously, you get all this <laughs> no, I, th I say we just wait till the last possible second. I would love to catch a catfish. Oh man, Ooh. it's like how? One. I feel the temperature changing. Yeah, you yeah. feel the wind switch, it's sucking yep. it in. That's okay, we got lots of time. Look at everybody, look at all these little <laughs> ants coming down off the... <laughs> just so we do gotta get it on the trailer and be done. I, I, oh yeah, there's the thunder. Oh, come on. What a terrible experience this is. I quit. <laughs> Told you, being haunted, man. Can you believe it? Unfortunately, I mean, we finally yes. get out here and get set up. I think we're being haunted. I'm not coming back out here. This is the last time. I'm not going to go day three, day four, <laughs> day five of the catfish. You know, it ain't happening. This is it right now. That's real close. If you uh, now, yeah. OK, come on. I'm gonna turn the camera. No, you're not. Well, that was like, Whoa. Uh, come you on. You know, if we got stuck in this storm, it actually might make some good TV. 
Yeah, it would. You want to do that? I had an umbrella. Sit out here in the rain? <laughs> That'd be fun. Thanks for hanging out, James. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> Dude, I don't think we're going to get that storm now. Maybe not. Look at your radar again. Whoa. Whoa. All right, you said the next one. <laughs> that was a bad one. Yeah. If we ever do this again, which it's doubtful, I will definitely get chicken livers, like tons of them, and I'll leave them out for two days in the sun till they stink so bad it's not even funny. And I guess we'll meet back here tomorrow night at 9? <laughs> this is so boring, our, our guide won't even come back. <laughs> Bree quit. Danny quit. Nathan didn't know what he was in for, so he showed up. I'm just an idiot. We're all idiots. Me and James are idiots. We're still here. Yeah. Blows my mind we can't get them by our hair. It started raining. No, those are bugs. But we got time. We got at it's least raining. seven or eight minutes. Who it's cares? definitely raining. Who cares? Yeah, it is. It's raining. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come on, put, let's get us in here. I gotta put this gear away. And just when we're in the pit of despair, this happened. Ah, look at the size of that stuff. There you go. Eh, maybe that happened a week later in Texas. Who cares? Nicole clearly said no time limit. Yeah, we did a great job. We almost did it. We were only one away. It's coming. We did good, guys. We good. Nate, turn that back on. Failed? Hardly. Where's the ram? From the minute we heard it, we all thought this was going to be an easy challenge. It wasn't. It doesn't always happen the way you want it to and the way you expect. But I've learned to expect the unexpected. Overall, it was a cool experience. I enjoyed my time with the Area Extreme crew, and I'm looking forward to our next journey. So the rain ruined our ghost hunting plans tonight, but we went back, and you'll see that on a future episode. To keep up with Erie Extreme, like us and subscribe.